This is a sketch of Hooke's air pump, which was used in the experiment by Hooke and Boyle. On the left is a replica of Hooke's air pump at the Oxford Museum of Science, with a glass receiver on the top and a brass pump to evacuate the air from this receiver at the bottom. On the right is Torricelli setup, consisting of a glass tube closed on one end that has been filled with colored water and inverted in a beaker also full of water. Torricelli's conjecture was that the water in the tube above the level of the water in the beaker was supported by the air pressure of the atmosphere. To test this conjecture, Boyle and Hooke inserted the Torricelli setup inside the receiver and proceeded to evacuate the air with their air pump. As the air pressure inside the receiver decreased, it was suspected that the water column should descend, with the top ultimately reaching the level of the water in the beaker. In Holland, Huygens repeated the same experiment, except that he first removed the air that is usually dissolved in water. These are sketches of his air pump. This is a sketch of his Torricelli setup. In our replication of these experiments, we have set side by side two Torricelli columns, one with ordinary water and another where the dissolved air has been removed by boiling the water. Let's watch what happens when we remove the air inside the glass receiver with our modern vacuum pump. So you are the one on the right has uh, normal water, the one on the left has boiled water. I'll take it fast until about 300, about 300. So, uh, you're going to make it go faster. Until about 300 millimeters. Where are we now? Are you going to call the, call the pressure? At 400. I'll okay. take it to about 300. Just call, call the pressure every 20 millimeters, okay? Stuck at about 3.0. Oh, the pressure is actually increasing. It's kind of weird. And pump <laughs> rather than. Are you pumping? Yeah, I'm pumping. Pressure's steady at. Uh, uh, start pumping air out. Yeah, pressure's steady at about 3.05. Uh, 10. Very good. 200. 190. Well, if you guys look carefully, do you see bubbles forming? Yeah. On the right. Mm -hmm. That's the water we didn't boil. So it, it's forming exactly. bubbles, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. All right, now you see what the bubbles are doing? Come on the top. What? Yeah. So now what do the bubbles do when they go to the top? Push the water down. Right? Push the water down. Yeah, but what is... Can you see what's forming at the very top? Air bubbles? Mm -hmm. The bubbles inside are staying inside, right? Down around 110. Very good. So let's look at the two. Sample evacuation. Power. A lot of bubbles coming out on the tap water. 70. 60. Oh, what's the, what's the, now, you see the, you see the uh, yes, column? Sir. What's the column on the right doing? Yeah. Hmm? It's dropping. What's it doing? Hmm? It's dropping. Oh my god, it's dropping, just like we, it would, right? It's on the left. Yeah. Why did look at the the, the other one on That's the left? Nothing. What's it doing? Nothing. Nothing. Eureka! <laughs> <laughs> it works. You're watching experiments that were done about 350 years ago. On the right is the replication of the boil hook experiment. The water column descends because when the outside air pressure decreases. The dissolved air in the water emerges in the form of bubbles, which rise to the top and form a pocket of air, which pushes the column downwards. 
At the same time, the outside pressure which supported this column decreases. On the left, which is a replication of the Huygens experiment, such bubbles do not appear because the water previously had been boiled to remove the dissolved air. Moreover, there are strong molecular adhesion forces between the water and the glass. On the right, these bonds are broken by the air bubbles which rise to the top in ordinary water. On the left, after all the air in the receiver has been exhausted, the cohesion of water supports the water column like a rope, as Galileo conjectured already 370 years ago. While this column hangs from the top of the gas glass tube by adhesion forces between the water and the glass. Well, isn't this awesome? Experimental physics, piece of cake.